What's up guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay, welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing a special video on how to know if a snake is venomous. And today I'm here with Gabby, who's a professional animal handler, and Chris Gillette, who is a wildlife biologist. And they're gonna help us today figure out if a snake is venomous or not. So most of you guys are here today because you want to know if a snake is poisonous. Venomous. Whoa, what is the difference? Well, so a poison is something that you ingest, a venom is something that's injected. So basically, if you eat it and you die, it was poisonous. If it bites you and you die, then it was venomous. Oh, I just learned something new today. So you guys must know the saying, red touches yellow kills a fellow, red touches black is a friend of Jack. But Gabby here tells me that that's not always true. So that's definitely not always true. Although that saying is a pretty good way most of the time to tell in North America, there are many different species of coral snake worldwide. Some of them aren't even red and black. Some of them are blue, some of them are orange. So in North America, it does work most of the time, but there are also variabilities. So it's best not to bet your life on a children's nursery rhyme. Why does that happen? Well, there's a lot of different species of coral snake, right? So there's many different kinds, different areas, they have different patterns, and then there's many different species of snakes that mimic those different species of coral snakes. So it's super, super complicated. And then within that, you can even have aberrancies within one species. Like with our North American coral snakes, it usually is the red touch yellow thing, right? Mm -hmm. Although we have seen coral snakes here where the red is touching the black as it should for the king snake, mm -hmm. although it's a coral snake. They, sometimes just the pattern gets a little weird and wonky on them. And when that happens, people are like, oh, it's following the rhyme. They pick it up and you could get killed like that. So oh my gosh. you don't want to bet your life on that. All right. So we're not betting our life on that nursery rhyme. And I hope you guys learned something today about snakes. So I live an active lifestyle in Florida. I go running with my dogs outside. What venomous snakes should I be aware of, Chris, that are living in Florida with me? Well, we have six species of venomous snake in Florida. There's canebrake rattlesnake and copperhead that are only in very northern Florida on like the Georgia border, okay? Then throughout the rest of the state, we have eastern diamondback rattlesnakes, pygmy rattlesnakes, coral snakes, and then the cottonmouth. So six venomous snakes that are living with us here in Florida. Wow, Chris, you seem to know a lot about venomous snakes. Well, I actually used to do venomous snake shows for a living. So I've worked with things like king cobras, all different kinds of rattlesnakes. And then in the wild in my travels, I mean, I've caught this Bushmaster behind us, black mamba in the wild in Botswana, puff adder. So I've worked with all different kinds of snakes across many different countries. All right, so aside from color, are there any other physical traits that I can look out for to tell if the snake is venomous, like the head or the eyes or anything I should look out for. Well, there's definitely a few misconceptions about the head and the eye shape. So a lot of people think if it has a triangular head, it's venomous, but that's not true. They also mm -hmm. think if they have a round pupil, they're not venomous. And I'm gonna show you why that's not true right now. So this is a puff adder. It has a triangular shaped head. This is venomous. We also have water snakes in Florida, which are not venomous with the same head shape. And if you take a look at this one's eyes, this one has an elliptical shaped eye. This is a black mambo with a round pupil. And if this bites you, you will be dead in seconds. So in conclusion, there's really no way to tell if a snake is venomous or not just by looking. There's no cookie cutter way that works for every individual. So the best thing to do is to do your research, get comfortable and familiar with the snakes in your area. And unless you're a professional like Chris and I that knows how to identify the different species and what is potentially dangerous and not, do not touch them. Always call a professional for help. Thank you guys for watching this video on how to know if a snake is venomous or not. Chris and Gabby were awesome today and they taught me so many things. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this. And also head over to their channel, Florida's Wildest, and you can see Chris handling a black mamba and Gabby handling alligators. Their channel is absolutely wild.